back to the research area. Oh, I'm probably down some sheet. Back to the research area. Now we go. Even though there's no hidden items along here? Yeah. Oh, I want that so bad. I never got. I think they make fishing in this game a post game thing. Oh, dry skin, love water type moves and rainy weather. We're talking about the ability of those. These Pokemon, of course. Not like I'm saying all Pokemon are dry. How would you know how I feel my Pokemon? What? Um, nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Ahem. <laughs> Just get away from me, lady. I don't want to know you anymore. Oh, no! You're before me? Damn it, you're fast. Well, screw you then, dear. I'm not a fan of you, dear. Like, you sound like it's supposed to be darling. You sound like it's supposed to be sweet talk. Combining deer and darling to get deer link. But deer's in the whole word, though. How is he going to combine those two? They sound so similar. Who cares? Let's go back and research this deer link for them. Damn it. Doing their own work for them. What kind of idiot am I? Hey, welcome back, everybody. It's West Play Pokemon White version. This is your host, the MJ416. Hey, hey, you don't mind. Would you please show us what deer link looks like now? Sure. Look at my deer link. Deer link's on a form. The luster of its body and its coloring is like a tree lined broom with falling leaves dancing down. The scent emanating from it is also like dry leaves. Thank you so much. I'm going to go catch my own deer link right away. Yeah, you do that. Go ahead. So there you go! You show it to him and he gets excited. Do I leave and come back and he has one? I'm curious about that. Oh, there we go. How many? You don't mind if we show you what a deer, what deer looks like now? Okay, so just show him all four as the seasons change and he'll eventually have all four. Okay! So you basically see all four of the variations if you're really curious about that. Oh no! A scientist! No! I will unlock the mechanism and find the secret of your power. Oh no. Why do the female scientists have have some alluring quality to them that makes it so easy for them to study me? I think it's a personal problem. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh man. But yeah, we finally went to Dripville City and explored a lot of that place last time, but before I commit to exploring the rest of Dripville City, such as the cold storage, I want to see what's out here. Because I'm hoping I get the last main Pokemon on my team, honestly. Because I know it's near here. I'm so proud of the mechanism, I forgot to concentrate on the battle. Shit! I forgot about type weaknesses. You all forget about that all the time. The mechanism of rain, the signs of changing seasons, nature's full of wonders. What do you have the mechanism of rain? It's a natural event! God, do these people really not know how weather works? Like, seriously, I feel like you don't know how. What the hell is that? Get away from me! Where are you? You look like a Pokeball! Oh, you're a Fugus. Oh no, there's a Fugus among us. Oh no, it's very sus. Oh no, yeah, very sus. I remember that word. Isn't that a fun word to use? Just catch it! Oh, this is my last Quick Ball. Shit. Well, catch it anyway. I'd rather have it now. Cuz, it will be very helpful for my collection of Pokemon just to have on me for the hell of it. Why hell not? Thanks, Fugus, for joining me. We finally have Fugus, the mushroom Pokemon. For some reason, this Pokemon resembles a Pokeball. They release poison spores to repel those who try to catch them. As I would figure. I keep forgetting! I thought that was a Gen 6 Pokemon for some reason. Yeah, it's Gen 5. So yeah! You just had your Pokeball imitator with Voltorb in Gen 5. I mean, with Gen 1, it was Voltorb. Gen 5, it's Fugus! Yeah, we're freaking Fugus Pokeball shaped Pokemon. So instead of it being literally a Pokeball, which I will say I still think is lazier, they just happen to have a mushroom Pokemon that happens to have a Pokeball design on its head. That's definitely better. At least it feels like it's a literal, like, camouflage, and not just, I am looking so similar to a Pokeball that people mistake me for one. Shit! What are you doing standing there in the bridge? Don't tell me you won't let me buy. Oh, you let me buy. Thank you! Fair tips! You reserve certain items with the Y button to use them easily. Look for the square checkbox beside the Daemo key item. Yeah, that's good to remember, I guess. Here at Room 6, there's a place called Mistral Cave. Especially deep in that cave, you can find an amazing Pokemon called Cobalion, who is said to have protected Pokemon from a sea of fire in ancient Unova. Cobalion? Oh, God! You use a move called Surf that lets you move over the water's surface, maybe you can see Cobalion. I would love to do that, but I don't think I have that power. I can't go across water yet. I can't even swim, dude! It's rather easier to go to the Celestial Tower of Route 7. I have to ring the bell for my petting day. Oh, okay, cool. Oh dear, Pokemon, somebody don't see, but we should rest here for a little while. You can't go anywhere when you're not feeling well. 
Thank you for the extra healing locations. I appreciate it. I would have loved to come here and end it then, if I remember that last time. Master, you have this! Ooh! I can, I can freaking evolve a Cheeto when I get another one! But what? We have a Cheeto chase and evolve became a different Pokemon! Exactly. It's time for today's personality test for a horoscope. But today's star sign, Dr. Aspapop, please. If you avoid me, bay, your sign is Boovalot. You are a very calm, relaxed person. Everyone feels at peace when they're around you. Try a little more assertive, and all will be well. What's the lucky way for a Boovalot sign? Well, carry your next attack. The one around you will be surprised when you aggressively attack. Thank you very much. See you next time. Really? Astrology? You got fucking kidding me. Dude, astrology is like the most useless bullshit thing ever. Oh no, I mean, at least be strong. Oh, at least you can find wild fungus. Level 29! Oh man, I feel like I'm at the wrong place at the wrong time! Oh dear. We run in one, guys. I don't want to fight them right now. I'm just here to look for Pokemon! Well, that's in the... Is that a web? Something that looks like a Pokemon nest is blocking the entrance. No! They won't let me in! Son of a bitch! I really wanted to go in there! You motherfucker. So, they won't let me charge Stone Cave, will they? Man, that fucking sucks! Oh! That's where the Pokemon I want is! Of course they wouldn't let it be so easy. Why would they? It is also nice to cover these routes ahead of time just to show you that they're blocked off. I mean, why not, right? It's nice to know you can't jump ahead of the game. I'm sure some people would appreciate that freedom to be able to actually go ahead of the game. As though, at least you can go one area ahead and, like, look around for some stronger Pokemon. Give you an edge in later areas here. This game does feel a little Nuzlocke-friendly, I guess, now I think about it. Not that I care about that sort of thing, but... Eh. I guess it's nice for those that really care about it. Well, I was gonna hope. Does that Pokemon show up out here? I don't think so. Okay. I was gonna try and hope that it could show up outside, hoping that it would be close enough to charge Stone Cave, but... Nope, looks like I gotta be inside the cave in order to get this to work. So, damn me. Go, Muddy Water! Hit the both! Ha 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 ha! I did a lot more to. Oh no, I did more to Tranquil than Fugus. I'm stupid. I misread their health bar. It's my bad. But yeah, I really wish I could go in that cave right now. Damn right! Oh, 32! Four levels away, I think they'll finally evolve, bro. Oh, no! Hit the one you wanted to hit. Well, lucky for you. Lucky for you, I wasn't trying to kill you. Now I don't have a choice. You must die. These researchers really need to find a better hobby than looking at a Pokemon's coloring when it changes the season. I feel like these guys don't actually trust what actual science is. Like, I don't think they actually know what real science is and how it works. I really think that that's stupid. They don't know how real science works. Now what do I do? Everyone's charged on the so the head is blocked off. It's going to a Pokemon called Galvantula, and I don't if I don't ask Clay to do something that's going to pass. Ah, I do it's battle play. Son of a bitch. God damn it, another Fugus! I don't need these things getting in my way! I lose an item! Get away from me! But yeah, I really have to wonder how much these scientists actually know. They don't seem like they know enough. They act like they're like weird mechanisms that change the weather. It's a natural event, man. And this is what happens when the temperatures shift. You get a freaking crazy amount of precipitation. That's how we get rain and snow and crap. Oh, well, they don't know this. Oh, gee, I didn't think I'd become just my B here. Then again, I guess if it was rain or snow like crazy, I wouldn't want to be out and about either. I've learned my mistakes from running out in the cold. Not a good idea, especially when it's really wet out. Then again, it is a nice change of scenery. It's nice to watch, but it's not nice to be out in it. I think that's more what it is. I'd rather be out in it if it's, like, light. But if it's not light, why would I ever want to be out in it? It just doesn't feel worth it. Huh. Who needs experience right now? I may as well look. Well, not... I'll just keep you out. You just battle them. I was gonna say friggin' Archon, but I forgot you have electric moves. It wouldn't be worth it. 
Does that I roll you out? Could you, like, not do that? Then again, I've never really been... Oh, dodged it. i never really been one... Oh, come on! For studying a lot of the weather patterns. I usually just look at what a lot of the weather things say. Then again, I'm never really good at meteorology. Then again, isn't, like, the way that some of the American, um... Dopplers and stuff read the weather kind of, uh, wrong? I'm trying to remember. I don't like the fact all you're doing is double team! Come up with something else, man! You're really scaring me right now! I can't hit you. I can't fucking hit you. And now you're going for moves that can't miss. You're a dick. Oh. And this is why things like you are banned. You can't just keep raising your evasion and then go over moves that never miss. Fuck you! That's right. I'm into this early because I don't trust you. Ah! Damn it. Not what I wanted to have happen. Nature! You must not defy nature! Please don't hit me that Pokeball. If I use this, will I put also become energetic? Okay, it's a cherry berry. I don't care how that makes it energetic. We are surrounded by green, we feel more energetic. Don't think? Thank you, Mother Nature. Dude, I'm not a big fan of the greens. I'm not a big fan of being out with nature. Trust me. It's not as good as you make it sound. I really would not think it's that good to be in there. Oh, you don't even see me! That parasol lady doesn't even notice I'm there. I have a feeling that the Pokemon that she has is gonna be water type. You would take down a rock type? You're dumb. Eat acrobatics! Since you don't have items, it's much stronger. I guess it doubles in strength that you don't have an item. Not that I actually know for sure myself, but. Because they're gonna take a nice educated guess. I don't mind Flick. Beat up that parasol lady. With grace, of course. If you wouldn't mind. Where are the Pokemon? You wanna play with us? At least don't splash the puddle on me. That'd be very rude of you to splash a puddle all over me. Well, we got parasol ladies. Ah, oh, there it is. The other one. Who's getting hung? Oh, boy. So, here's the other infamous Pokemon line of this game. Vanillite. They literally gave him a Pokemon that's just soft serve ice cream. Yeah, at least a lot to be desired. <laughs> oh, jeez. Or at least you're like a weird, like, ghost jellyfish thingy. You're something. Actually, you're not a jellyfish. You're... What are you? Get away from me where you are! I believe it's a water ghost type. Damn, I've getting a lot of critical hits lately, too. Yeah, watch out for that. Uh oh, I lost. But it was fun, so I'm satisfied. Well, good. Go splash the puddle without me. Fox works for Pokemon. No, he's more fun than that. It's 100% impossible to live without Pokemon. But yep. We're finally introduced to the freaking ice cream Pokemon. Oh, man. Boring green, funny Pokemon. Please, you don't need to go singing in the rain. It's not even raining right now. Why are you a parasol with you? It's not even raining. Try to stop yourself getting splashed? I guess. It just sounds stupid to me, that's all. Maybe you can do something a lot more valuable in your time than just carrying a parasol with you. But it's not even raining. That's something I've always found dumb. Then I guess, I feel like it's an American thing. That we wear, that we usually carry, um... Sorry, lost my train of thought for a second. We usually carry, you know, umbrellas around because we're trying to avoid getting hit by rain and snow. Mostly rain. But it's very wet. Instead of, well, like, what well, sensible people probably do, wear something like a poncho. Or like a giant raincoat. Because, you know, that's the easier way to protect yourself from rain. By covering your whole body in it so you don't get wet. But nope, us Americans have to make it seem weird to do that, even though that's more normal. Where mostly people in other countries have umbrellas to protect themselves from the sunlight. Because, you know, don't want to get melanoma, don't want to potentially get cancer. Melanoma is cancer, dumbass. I know what I meant. You don't want to get sunburned and all that as well. I can't. It's supposed to provide shade. That's supposed to be its primary function. At least I'm pretty sure it is. We just happen to use it as a tool to protect ourselves from rain and such. It doesn't seem that useful. Ah, here's the sad of total defeat. At least compared to an actual full-out jacket or a poncho. Like, come on. I don't think it's really that dumb. Greatest wonderful ability that nature plays. I bet it is. 
I bet you would always take that. And for that, I'm going to ignore you. Because I'm going to have Toto fight this ranger here. Well, at least I could... Damn it. At least I could just get these traitors out of the way so I don't have to worry about them later. Now when we come back down this route, I won't even have to imagine they exist at all. Engine power bird! Honestly, I'm probably better off using freaking acrobatics. Well, you seem strong enough anyway, Dodo. You are very competent in your skills. I'm happy about that. We are totally in sync. Using our amazing connection, I will teach you all about rangers. Especially on the power variety. Huh, I thought they are called Super Sentai. What the hell is Sentai? Oh my god. You don't even know the origin of the bitch! Of course. It would be a fucking Amolka. I hate this thing so much. Fine. Time to crunch it and get paralyzed. Go, Vector. Do your work. I have all I have battle these to evolve. Oh, forgot about that. There you go. This is what friggin' Crocorock looks like on the back. See, feel like these alligators got attitude. I guess it's kind of the dark type in them. It's kind of like that. You're only using double team. Why do they do this? I hate it. Oh, well, you're faster than me, so I guess payback would actually be better to use right now. So, I'm going to fight you anyway. My lower defense would be great. Nope. Oh, okay, payback it is. Why is the pursuit on dark type? I have no reason to run away from you. Why do they do this? They make themselves look so stupid. Ow! Stop hitting me, you flying squirrel asshole! Why do they have to come with a flying squirrel Pokemon? Why? That seems like such a dick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that mold is supposed to be the Pikachu clone of this game. It's just a coincidence that Pinchino also kind of looks like Pikachu, just because, you know, they really do love going over that cute design of the round eyes, and the little, the small body, and the... And the pointy ears are more a Pikachu thing than what this one has going for it, but... The electric type makes that one feel like an actual, you know... Yeah, Pikachu clone. Unlike the other one. Okay. Well, in that case... Finally, now you can go out, Dodo. Hurry up and get your work done. I need you to level up so you can evolve, too. I'd rather you have the opportunity to evolve. Evolve faster, damn it! Become the ultimate rock bird! Ow! Well, that hurts. Good, you're not below half HP, and you're good. Oh, man! Why do you have so many critical hits? In fact, we learned all about you! Well, that is one way to study up, I guess. With nature. You know about much about this, Barry? You guys all give me cherry berries. You know that, right? Listen carefully. They have the sound of breathing Pokemon and plants. Yeah, I bet so. I don't care that much about them breathing near me. It's all they're not breathing on me! Don't breathe on me, Fungus! So I still at least this Pokemon's not limited in the encounters you have with it. That would suck. I definitely encourage you to catch multiple. It is honestly kind of hard for you to want to catch multiple um, of a certain Pokemon, even if it is limited. I'm a kind of person who's happy with just having one. Even if it sucks. Ah, there's a shortcut. Cool. Good, I wanted to go back to heal anyway. But yeah, it's always nice to have a shortcut to get back to... Well... Here. That wasn't what I was talking about. I don't want Pokemon breathing by air. Do they breathe by air? Are they like trees and the fact that they might breathe in carbon dioxide? That's how plants work. Not all Pokemon are plants, idiot. Damn it! Actually, not many of them are plants, now I think about it. Mostly the grass types. And even then, not many of them are plants. Some of them are just grassy creatures. Anyway, here's the cold storage. I finally came here. Oh god, actually, battles here? Bullshit. Where is Kay Pokemon Loads? I'm a youngster. I'm close to my Pokemon. We all cooperate happily. Why was I thinking Chuckster? <laughs> god damn it. Time for a battle! I'm a chunkster! And he fucking throws my Pokemon overboard! Like, no, dude! You can't get rid of my Pokemon like that! It's not cool! I could see Zelda being a dick like that. I really could. Of course you're gonna use Protect on yourself, asshole. Well, as soon as you stop moving around, I'm gonna do acrobatics on you! Good, Dodo. You seem to be getting faster. I'm very happy you're starting to gain some speed. Even if it's a little bit. Yes! There you go! Please get a little better. Ah, Carablast! This is another bug type, I think. Well, now it's time for you to jump in again, finally. 
So, who's a fan of bugs? This one is a weird one. I will say this. This one is host to one of the weirdest evolutions in all the Pokemon games. It's such a weird evolution, in fact, that, well, it's version exclusive. Um, you're closer to your Pokemon than I am. It's really strange how the evolution works. I'll just leave it at that for now. I'll just say it's a trade evolution for now. There are good to you that the Pokemon you found in rock containers came here from another place. Are the Pokemon in containers right here? I wonder about that. For a few loads headed by Pokemon, for a lot of loads headed by ship. It's best method for your needs. Do people actually have their Pokemon go sailing all the way out there by themselves? It sounds like a lot of effort, honestly, for too much work. My dad is wearing a gym. I received special training there. You're the son of Clay? I thought you'd be a lot more stuck up than this. Eh, I guess he doesn't mind you being a little... Well, yeah, different. Ah! Joltik, one of the smallest Pokemon in all the games. Oh no, I can't eat berries. What a shame. And guess what? You ancient power, motherfucker! Here's an electric and bug type in Joltik. It's kind of like a weird spider. Don't worry about it. It's just a spider, that's all that matters. The spider can't hurt you, you're fine. And now to go after Dwebble. It's weird that one of its bigger weaknesses is actually water. Because the rock basically counters all the weaknesses that bug would have. Can't use fire. Can't use fly. Can't use rock. Actually, I guess it can use rock, technically. And you can't use ground or the rock because of the bug. It's really one of the only ones you got is water. No, it's... You son of a bitch. Point stones, float in the air, rider team. Ah, oh, got a little stealth, Brock. If I swap in, I probably get hurt by rocks for eight of their damage. Unless it's super effective against them. That hurts more. It's all based on the effectiveness of your friggin' Pokemon. And their types against them. Eat mud shot! But you have always a nice thing to remember. That Stealth Rock is more effective against Pokemon than weak to rock types. Dad, the good win. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad I did that to you. I blew a mouse my dad too. My dad are quite evenly matched. Ah, uh, maybe your dad has worked for the gym. Doesn't work as the gym leader. That's what I was thinking. That's what threw me off. I kept thinking it was a gym leader. You leave the cold sword with the gap between the fence and the quotator over there. Oh, that's nice of them. Why can't I go this way? Oh, it's an important tool for shock protection. Good to let your Pokemon have one too. Ah, yes, Rocky Helmet. This thing is useful, I think. You let a Rocky Helmet, the foe will also be damaged if foe's move makes physical contact. So, yep, it's basically like. I think it's an ability that basically does that later. Oh, actually, there's one from Gen 4 called Rough Skin. It's basically like having rough, rough skin on a Pokemon. Rocky Helmet. So yeah, it's useful. Also, I know there's a bunch of grass here. Now mind you, I just have my Dowsing Machine and Bike ready. Now again, I have to change my Pokemon now, because I'm not ready. <laughs> God damn it! And here I thought I was actually prepared for once. Goes to show I don't know what I'm doing. Run to the grass! And get yourself an ether! Oh good. At least I got something useful out of that. And we're gonna have some weird Pokemon to find here. For example, oh, another one of you. Well, I guess it's good I get a second one of you just to have it for my collection in case I do feel like evolving at the end of the LP or something. Get over here! Let me cut you down to size. <laughs> God, these things are annoying. Well, hey, at least we have people that are working around here, doing whatever it is they're doing. Where am I? Be oh, right, B Paul's up there. There we go. So I got you before, this is going to be really easy. Then you have the unknown hunts, was anything to go by from the previous generation that I actually went through like an idiot. The repeat ball works extremely well. It's like four times the effective of a Pokemon you've caught previously. Good thing to remember. There, now I still have Machino. We're good. Thank you for joining the party again. Really appreciate it. Oh. It's- Oh! Damn it, I thought I had it. There's Minchino here. I was going to find different Pokemon around here, not just these things. Well, good. Give me an excuse to fight you. So this seems to be like the big shipment spot of this place. A lot of the shipping takes place here. I guess it's for the international stuff. Going across international waters? Maybe? I don't know. 
I mean, I suppose so. Now that I'm familiar with a lot of the, uh, shipping and production industry and all that. The fair chill the cold storage. Taste how cold it is. Taste it? Oh, God, you got vanilla light for me, don't you? Please, look, I'm tempted. I'm a big fan of salt, sir, but... Wait, that's not how you, that's not something you can taste unless it's broccoli? Is that monkey wearing broccoli on its head? Has that been what it's been this whole time? Just a bunch of broccoli? You're making me question things! Get away from me! I don't like the thought of that at all. The fact that you're thinking about thinking that you're broccoli, and you got broccoli on your head. Oh, good! Finally! A Pokemon that I can actually fight now, thanks to you actually having a good move. I can fight a fighting type. Go with acrobatics! Show that timber what floor. Always has a block of wood. He's got wood that's not as big as yours. Heart. What? Um, the bird beat it. Chilly? I feel like she ever passed along my spine. Hey, you're fully dressed down, too. You might be getting chills, dude. You should probably take all that off. Can't be good for you. There are a lot of trainers even in the code storage. Oh, so there are, huh? Oh, there's only down there. I'll remember to get that. First, give me protein. Woo! That's right, I gotta remember to use some of these items. Because I need to raise some of these stats of these Pokemon. You used your last protein. Oh, this game lets you use um, a lot of them at once. Oh, Resist Ring does defense. Okay, I'm thinking of something else. Do I have any other of those items? No, it doesn't look like it. Stat boost items. I don't want to use Zinc or... There's still some PP up, but I don't have a move that's useful for yet that I'm sure I'm going to keep. God, these Pokemon are really going to get in my way, aren't they? I just want to make my team stronger, and you guys are not helping! Especially you, Ice Cream Cone! Great. We finally ran into the Ice Cream Cone. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Just cut them. Make it simple. Yeah, in case you're curious, but it's obviously an ice type. And, well, if, if you're still curious, it has evolutions, too. Oh, boy. And it leaves something to be desired. Like I said, it's one of those designs, it just feels lazy. It's not as bad as the Trovis design. Trovis is just one of the worst designs. I mean, I get what they're going for. It's just, oh, man, it's bad. There's at least a decent design. It's just lazy, that's all. We'll see some that are arguably lazier. Here's another like the fresh snow Pokemon. This Pokemon form from ice schools bathed in energy from the morning sun. It sleeps buried in snow. Huh. I keep trying to think too hard on if soft serve ice cream is an American made thing. It could have been, possibly. Ah, oh, damn it, I wouldn't want to go up here yet! Bro, you think we class could be in there? I don't like home places, but we have to check. What a bother. The reason why Kari is having you look for the plasma is because he's testing your abilities. Oh. He can do it himself, but he's making us do it just to freaking give us work. Dick. If he can do it himself, why is he making. Ugh. He seems like a man who seems to take his business very seriously. Well, fine. I'll let him run his business to the ground the way he wants. And he seems to be a man that all for running his own business into the ground. He has called the underground boss, after all. That's not what he meant by underground business! I mean, I thought... Ooh! Okay. I'll admit. I was not expecting him to do a hurt here. But there it is. As spiffy as ever. Getting ready to bite back. Sorry. Oh, wow. He actually bit back. Not gonna lie. Didn't see that coming. You also got a crit! Screw you! And you can't use helping hand with yourself. I'm gonna give myself a helping hand. Watch how much stronger I become. Wait, wait. I can only do no shake. I can only lift one paw without falling. Oh, crap. Stupid dog. Make yourself look bad. Okay, another one back here. Let's go, let's go. All right, Sharon, you have fun. All right, bro, let's get this over with. Yeah, you have fun with that. Um, dude, we have to save them. Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's great. Ah, oh, there it is. Fire potion. As for me, I'm going to go heal in this episode. At least we got to take care of a lot of the trainers standing around here. So that's good. Now, don't, don't mind, I'm going to go heal. I mean, I guess his business is successful enough he's able to send kids out to do his dirty work to save his own business. 
Man, that is some confidence you have in kids. You really think you're able to stop a, a gang like this, like Team Plasma, without adult involvement like yours? I question your sanity, sir. I don't know if you actually understand how powerful these guys are supposed to be. And again, I don't know the logic of anybody in this world. Nobody in this world makes sense to me, so I'm just gonna drop it. If he wants us to beat up a gang on his behalf, I'll do it. If it means I'll be able to eventually get to battle him, so be it. But that one, this episode here. So, come back next time. We're gonna go to that area of the cold storage. Now let me know where it is. I guess we'll kick Team Plasma out of it. Seems like a little logical thing to do. Then again, if they've been in there for this long, I imagine they'd be close to getting frozen stiff. Come on, man. Stay in a cold environment for too long is how you get sick. That's how people die. Last thing you need is a case of hypothermia. 